So I haven't posted on this channel in a long time. I typically stay focused on more serious things because, um, you know, this channel, as I've said, is just kind of like for fun, but it's not realistic to keep those two worlds separate, the serious and the escapism, because, um, well, I mean, I can only provide example better than I could say, like the people that I had issue with on that server I got banned from, people know that story, and just uh, probably in a lot of um, games where you're socializing and um, if you happen to be around it in person or wherever you are around it, um, that that kind of, well, it's not fair to call it yuppie, like I was about to say, and it's not fair to call it um staying in a bubble of positivity because these people as i've showed they have this front of being very childlike or even childish which is a negative to me uh, if you're a grown person or even in your teens in a sense i never acted like that and you know my generation i know i know millennials get a lot of hell and stuff but and people can't remember for some reason <clears throat> that change like this too but millennials will say in particular didn't act like that back in the day either but something happened along the way to where it became fashionable it became cool to uh, be like an infant about things selectively but hostile towards anybody that uh, questions narratives que you know if you're not a conformist if you're rocking the boat on things that the people on the screen established as normal behavior, as normal reactions and stuff, that person's a problem. And you will want to see that person jobless, you'll want to see that person homeless, you'll want to see that person in a gulag or whatever if you have a problem with them. I don't care if it's apple and orange juice disagreement, you'll want to see them in uh, some kind of turmoil. That's how it's been. And of course, people will automatically bell go off in their head that I'm talking about leftism, modern day leftism and woke stuff in particular. I just like to call it woke. Politics is a game to me, of course, but also back in the day, people on the left, it used to be so crazy. It used to be actually, uh, some cases, uh, may have been better than, I would say actually in most cases in a sense, I never leaned Democrat, but I just noticed that I guess for the better part, they were <laughs> not as pro-war as the neocons. But now it's starting to go back to the old days with that. But a lot worse with the right, with this Q cult stuff and everything. And it is a cult. Um, I held my tongue on that for a while because it was such a minority, it seemed. But um, it's no longer like what they call themselves a silent majority. I don't mean to go off into a tangent. Actually, you know, I don't care what I say in this recording because there's like no set um, agenda I want to have to say, so I'll just kind of ramble here. <laughs> I don't care. This, this channel is not to be serious anyway, but I, I want to throw in some things that I feel different about from like my last really long recording. You know, I had more of a, a Christian religious angle. I'm not totally different, but I'm quite different from uh, some months ago. So that's kind of the main thing I want to address eventually, but we'll just see how this goes. Okay, so the neocons of today and stuff, you are starting to see that um, this cult behavior, that they long, I guess in some sense rightfully so, would say the left has for so many years now, and it's true. Because the left sacrifices their children and everything on the altar of progressivism with these drag queens, with this Black Lives Matter stuff, which is complete bogus um, history of being victim. If you want to talk about being a victim, not only are you going to have to start with who the African slave owners were, but I want you to imagine a blanket sympathy for people 
that have done nothing throughout all time but destroy themselves and their environment. It's just a whole legacy of enslaving, pimping, and hoeing each other. And then you want to give a blanket a blanket sympathy towards that and um, just a whole masochistic resolve towards that. But if you're your own family member you've known for all your life says the N-word, that's it. That's it for them, right? Your husband says it, your wife says it, that's it for them, right? That's, I mean, I'm just saying, a word turns people's stomachs over, but the actual realization of things with critical thinking, with normal thinking, it, just, it doesn't hit them. They're, these people are just robots, and they parrot propaganda, they parrot the motions, the propaganda wants them to, you know, it's just, <clears throat> it's pretty bad. And the Q cult, um, that stuff will increase because, I mean, I'm not asking anybody to look at my Twitter necessarily. I guess I'll link it. I don't care who sees it. I mean, Firebrand is an understatement. It's quite apocalyptic. Uh, it's quite uh, more like a bright burn situation. <laughs> Just, uh, I mean, it, you look at it, you know, I don't know. I mean, I go in pretty hard, harder than anybody that you'll ever see probably. But um, I don't know how else to react. As a grown man, and, uh, you know, I've been looking into this stuff since I was, like, literally nine years old, and I never understood anybody around me that was subjected to that and just didn't care. You know, speaking about the millennial thing again, you know, I didn't have a hard-ass mentality about people that weren't on my level when I was that age, because before about 2010, as I say on my other channel a lot, you didn't have, it's not just like a local experience, because... I used to talk to people from around the world, whether it was on WoW or on websites and stuff, especially around the states and stuff, when it had real diversity, you know, back in the day, it wasn't just all copying these, I don't know, I remember at one point, it started around 2010, everybody's copying like the swag and these Atlanta rappers, everybody says bruh and all this shit, and it's, it's not to pick at anybody saying a certain slang necessarily, it's just that everybody's doing the same fucking thing, and that's weird. And nobody like has a self awareness to check that anymore, or the respect for elders or elitist people that kept certain things separate. So everything's just fake and gay, as they say. And I don't like it. It's it's disgusting, and it's brought everything to this World War Three situation. I mean, it really has. I mean, you're lucky if you're snuffed out by a nuke compared to what can happen with all this stuff, what's happening to individual people on a daily basis because of these people's mistakes is it's just retarded. And that's why I'm away from the Bible like that in that sense, particularly revelation and that kind of thing, because people are experiencing horrible apocalyptic things individually on a daily basis. Okay. They're having that tribulation on a daily basis and stuff. And I always knew that it's just, I was sick last year. I had a very bad problem. And I don't feel like I was really fully better until about May after uh, I made that last video on here. I mean, talking a lot. So, um, these people that I've known to be, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Hang on. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying before. Let me just keep going. Like I said, I'm not going to take this that seriously. Like, I don't pop a blood vessel on my more serious channel trying to say things, but I'm just going to kind of free flow this more so. Like, I'm, I'm trying to relax today. I, I stopped doing a lot of stuff on Twitter and focusing on things because that does make me pop a blood vessel a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I already have to know this stuff is going on, and I, and I already have to interface with it sometimes and stuff. Yeah, I have to know my family's fucking gone like that. I have to know my peers have been gone for a long time like that and stuff. So it's hard to... I already know what the fuck's going on and then have to interface with all that on Twitter and everything when it's where it's amplified times a hundred in a sense. Luckily, I don't have that kind of experience in person all the time nor I've worked and everything, luckily, but I have, have, have seen it. I have had woke employees. I have had, I've, I've seen it. Yeah. I don't like it, but it's not much. <clears throat> it's definitely not much. 
But these Q cultists, um, you know, they go back to what I consider because, hang on, that's hard to spit out. Um, you have women that look like they're 60 plus, for example, and they've probably been into church and, you know, just, they're probably not, they probably never got deep into the Bible, but just the, the idea that they're saved, right? Here's another thing. So if the, if people know the Bible, the minimum requirement is to confess through your mouth that Jesus Christ died for your sins and he rose again. And now you're saving all that. You see, you see what I mean? He's your, he's your savior. Most of these women probably have done this from what I'm looking at. And hear me out. But these same women, as I'm going to show in this picture here, their minds overnight seem to be gone with this stuff. <laughs> Can you explain this? And this is just the women that are commenting. And you see more and more of whether it's worshiping this guy or Trump, which is the same thing. They all believe they're in some kind of, uh, well, it wouldn't be a trinity, but some kind of weird Christ pantheon of MAGA. And that's exactly what it is. You can't question them on that or anything. They don't want to hear it. So, I mean, they don't care. There's not one thing that make them care. I could show them the sun, moon, and stars following me and everything. Eh, they don't care about that. <clears throat> I already tried it. <laughs> I already tried it. <laughs> they don't. It don't matter what you show them. They're, they're locks that, and that's the thing about the Bible is like if if revelation is inevitable, then everything from start to finish was inevitable, right? The whole prospect of trying to refine humanity in a moral way is ultimately defeated at the end. If you, I don't see how this isn't the end in that way. It doesn't. Ha it doesn't have to be. If you're not strictly bound to the Bible, though. And that's what I'm getting at. Why would you tell someone something is going to happen really bad to them if you were not giving them an opportunity to change something? That's what I, that's my whole point. It's like here you are processing the inevitable allegedly, but you're not given a chance to do anything about it. And then I, I guess, you know, it, it's not as simple as that. But when you have 144,000 locked in, then that does show there is some kind of favoritism that doesn't really matter. I'm not saying it doesn't matter what you do, but I don't, what I don't like about the Bible in that sense is that I don't like to fill in the gaps on things and something that is that serious about your soul, your afterlife salvation shouldn't be like infused with parables and things that really are um, without, you have to have the strongest concordance to figure this word out and stuff. People know what that is. And then, you know, most people can't even figure this stuff out without a, like a really, uh, like a really good preacher, someone who really isn't about themselves or an agenda or money that will tell you what's, a lot of these people are lost <clears throat> and I won't pick on them for being stupid in a sense. There are wholesome people that just don't have that time. They don't have that kind of interest in them. They're just, they're in that certain spectrum where they're just not a big reader and all that or whatever it is. And you're telling me that <clears throat> a thug or a sorcerer or whatever, someone that could be practicing legitimate destructive things to, to their surroundings and people around them, like the Bible forbids, they can their whole life do that, but around their deathbed, they can get saved. But the person that they killed, let's say, was wholesome. I've known, I've known atheists and all kinds of people that have been wholesome, even Satanists for sure, been wholesome their whole life. But they go to hell. But I thought God is supposed to know your heart. That makes sense. Like, for me, I know someone's heart pretty good. And they don't have to... 
I will not set them up in a situation. I mean, this is how it is. I'm thinking of this as I go real quick. So it might not be the best, but let me, let me try. So you have a situation where, um, I mean, it's so abstract. It's so weird. I might need to pause because this, <laughs> this is a big thing. I've never heard anyone say like this, but it's not that big. You know, I was only, you know, big into Christianity for uh, about two years, give or take. Um, I guess, let me, th yeah, about, yeah, two years. And I've unraveled so much I've never heard anyone talk about. It's just crazy. Like these, I, I just can tell these people don't actually really care about it. When I get involved with something, I don't care what it is. I really care about it. I really do. And I had things happen to me personally that corroborated with the Bible. And I don't take away from them. I'm just saying the whole, the whole book itself as a guides to eternity or salvation and stuff is just a little sketchy. And I know exactly what I mean by that because I know it. <laughs> so let me try to spit this example out. I mean, the example's there as itself, but let me, sometimes, I think I have a good ability to unveil things, like, because people will be involved with just, like, right in your face, smug people, charlatans, and all kinds of lies, but I, I seem to have this effect. Even if they don't resonate with it, it will offend them, because they'll know I'm right. I have an effect to expose it, just by kind of, I don't, I don't know, it's like, I'm not changing anything that they said, it's just like I put a mirror to it that you've never seen before. It's, it's a really weird effect. Kind of like Libs of TikTok, um, which I'm not a fanboy of hers or anything. It's just, it's sad if you want to say anything about her, that she's practically the only one <laughs> to have a page like that, really strongly dedicated to stuff like that. When you have all these parents around the country not caring about what's going on, or whatever country this happens in, with the drag queen stuff and everything. Or grotesque things happening in the classroom in general. These other parents... I mean, I know parents are doing some things, but they, they don't... There's not one dad kind of going crazy trying to... I don't really see it. Why weren't they doing that before her? I didn't really see it. So, um, you say what you want about her, but... <laughs> it's You should say something about these people, or you're a parent yourself knowing this is going on, because... She's really the only one doing it. There's, there's other... There's other types of pages like her, but it's not fair to compare them to average people that should be up in arms. So, anyway, um, kind of forgot what I was saying with that again. <laughs> um, so, you have a situation where, okay, let's say that. You don't know who I am, but I know that I'm wholesome. I know that I'm righteous. I know that I'm better than you. Okay. I give you a book that tells you everything about me and everything about you and what your ancestor, Adam, well, ancestors, Adam and Eve did to cause you to be in this exile place. All right. And you have to imagine how I would actually be in person or in a heavenly realm, however, I mean, however you want to interpret it. It's still in person. And then confide in yourself, uh, how should I say, uh, and find some kind of allegiance and salvation through all that. Now, some... Now, now, take away if people don't like my voice or they don't like if they see my face, they don't like my face or whatever it is. Take away that and just try. And, and that's the whole point. You don't know what he looks like or anything, right? No graven image, allegedly, but you don't know. You just you don't really know anything other than what's said there. And there's been plenty of people throughout your personal experience, I'm sure, like mine, whether it's online dating or. <laughs> Whatever it is, they people can talk real good, but sometimes 
or a lot of times that character breaks in person. I'm not saying that's what you're set up for, but <clears throat> the whole thing is, why would, what happened down the line with Adam and Eve where humanity needed a book outside of themselves to figure these things out? Now that gets really deep. Because there were people there, it says, waiting, well, I mean, not waiting, but, you know, there's people outside of where they were that Cain was worried about when he got exiled. So that means there, were, there was a creation before Adam and Eve. If you want to look at it that way, there were, there were people before them. Um, and all kinds of things, man. It, it's just... If I were to end it right here, I would say this. You know, this whole place is about duality. And I don't, and what I will defend the Bible about, about rejecting instincts, I do agree that a lot of primal urges and uh, base instincts and stuff should be challenged, should be refined, because <clears throat> it's those same populations that have that issue of unregulated feelings and, um, you know, just, just basing things. It's not intuition. You've lost yourself in a, um, just, just a false sense of intuition when you're not an animal. That's just what I've noticed is that people in Western civilization don't work that well being primitive people like that. I'm not really defending primitive people, but you get what I mean. When you strip people from faith, and primarily it's not about being Christian, it's just having acknowledgement of there are, there are spiritual forces, there are things going on within you that you need to tame or whatever you want to do with, right? But it's, it's more practical, it's more um, self-preserving to tame them and, um, I don't mean to, how's, how, does, how do they say it on Star Wars? Um, like, someone who's really angry is easier to control or something like that? Well, I mean, I would take it to just any kind of emotional extreme. You can be moved around like a puppet real easy. And that's what you're seeing with this woke stuff. And that's what you're seeing with this Q stuff. Which is pretty much um, the same thing now. Because they're living through Trump. And they're identifying with whatever he... It's, it's, it's mostly WWE. When he's like, yeah, they're coming after us and all this stuff. And, he, and you see these guys come on TikTok. Armed to the teeth. Pointing guns at cameras and stuff. Which I guess I'll show here. I record this before I put the video together. That's, that's why I said it like that. Um, I'll just imagine how I put the video together later. I mean, right now. And I put it together. But, um, yeah, I mean, these, these guys are that retarded. They kind of would do anything that he says, but they kind of wouldn't. They're willing to go that far, though. And that's what's really weird and pathetic. <laughs> it really is. <clears throat> because if they were that lockstep about it, there would be civil war already. Because he's pretty much said stuff like that, you know. It would have been interpreted in that way if someone was really radical like that. So apparently, that's not really the case. <clears throat> but it could become that case. Things can change. Just as things have drastically changed, in my experience, not that I ever defended MAGA people, but they weren't this bad like two years ago. This is pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, it really is a weird, creepy thing, what they're doing. <clears throat> and basically, I guess they've been lied to so many times and stuff, and they, they don't want to accept it, that their, their reasoning and rationality is fractured into just a cult mentality. It's not just purely believing and faithfulness. It's just like 
they've surrendered to the salvation outside themselves so deep that they have no thoughts of their own anymore or anything. These people, like I'll try to show here if I have it on hand or if I care to go through it, they will look through every single phrase or word these Q priest class people say just to see if it's something significant. I don't care if it's hot dog down the hallway. This is, this is literally like weird shit. This guy has said this, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, I mean, I'll be showing as I'm saying it. So, but, um, if I can spit it out anyway, um, Axel Vasa, however you say it, he will say random stuff like that. Sexual stuff sometimes too. That wasn't just that random that I said that. And they will, these women, these older women, 45 plus, they will put hard eye emojis. They will look up what he said in Gematria to see if it's some kind of special code they need to live by or whatever. They will do all that, but they will not do that for their own lives and their own people around them. Like there's something like, so no one else is significant by him. If that was, if you were supposed to be interpreting things like that. So it took all this time throughout history to have the internet and to have this man come on here posting selfies, posting dumb shit for you to somehow break the code on just some random ass words he's throwing at you. That's what it is now. And apparently it is. Apparently that's, that's, that's profound to them. So I'm just saying at this point you have blue beam people that believe second coming is coming. Well, you have blue beam people that don't know about this. They have it to wear this holographic technology. They have it to wear. I mean, they've had, this is not new, but you know, they're really showing it now. I, I seen this video of a whale flying around buildings. It looked real. You could not discern that it wasn't real. If you didn't know any better, you just came out of jail or under a rock or came out of a time machine or so from the past, from the, you would think that was real. There's no other way if you didn't know about that technology that they're just coming out with to the, for the public that they've had for who knows how long, right? <laughs> and you are going to believe in um, someone coming in the cloud. That's you know how the second, the second coming says, it says he will come in the clouds and stuff. You know, I mean, I, I'm not saying it's too late, but I mean, it's going to be pretty questionable. Everything is so questionable. And for this channel, I'm, I'm only going like a quarter of the way I usually do on my other channel because I'm not trying to, uh, like people that would kind of, the whole, the whole thing is like, it's more of an audience thing from what I posted. And so I posted some clips of, um, games, well, two games and, uh, well, technically a few, I didn't think about the random stuff I posted, um, in my last long recording there, whatever it was called. I can't even remember. It's about Gucci's because. If people know who that is, Gucci's, um, this dude showed me her last year and I just saw it. It was one of the funniest things I'd seen in a while. I'm not, I don't ever watch, I, excuse me. I had never watched, uh, one of those, what do they call them? Inner life live streamers. Like they just, they go around and record themselves like all the time and stuff. Um, but she does like jackass or crazy or like bum fight stuff. People know what that is in decline film stuff. People know what that is. Pretty old school, extreme stuff, kind of underground, even, even today, I guess. But you know, she, she's just wild and it's, uh, and she's just different. And, you know, uh, this was not intentional. Don't care if anyone believes it. Um, I was messing around with the faces on Hogwarts and her face seemed to literally match that. And anybody can do it. I don't know which one it is off the top of my head, but it's, uh, I think it's the girl with the short hair. And if you just mess around with her a little bit, um, she looks just like that. Yep. So, I mean, 
it's not identical, but it's really close. So that's why I named the video that, you know, but my target audience, you know, um, I mean, I mean there's not a target audience, but the audience that I figure that I'd reel in, I'm not trying to uh, press the real hard stuff like I do on my other channel. Cause if you think this is pretty big, I mean, I, I really, um, I really, uh, get into the meat of things on my other channel and stuff. So look, <clears throat> that's why it's hard to play classic wow or vanilla or all. And, and I know guys around my fucking age and older and they carry themselves like that. And they're going to report you for saying something, um, antithetical to their political view or whatever it is, or, or even their sexual view. And then they get to talk about everything under the sun, disgusting, but God forbid, don't offend the man, children and stuff. Fuck that. So I'm here to offend those type of people. I don't care, but, um, I'm not here to try to scare people. You see now some people need to be scared. And maybe you listening to for some reason. I didn't ever need that necessarily, but it's it just seems to be that the the biggest the biggest thing lacking while we have these problems is people do not have a flight response or fight response. No, I'm not asking anybody to fight anything, but I'm just saying it's a big. I have no idea what's wrong with my toilet. It's run off by itself. I promise I'm not using it. <laughs> I mean, really, I'm standing near the door, but anyway, um. They, if they did, you wouldn't have any of these problems, basically, because, um, you might, look, you, let's say you had issues with whatever type of group of people. The problem with these people, I'm, I mean, let me, should I just be blunt here? Let me think. It's a mixing issue. Because... What I just kind of defended millennials before they went retarded around 2010, I will not defend them after 2010. So when you guys, I'm, I'm saying this very broadly because I've seen everybody around the world change. So when you guys decided to integrate swag, brain dead Facebook memetics, and uh, just like, it, it's just a complete disgusting merge of the lowest tier stuff from uh, rap culture that anyone before then would have considered poser and punked out and all that with the lowest tier elements of gamer geek culture. And that's what you've had with most white people in general since then. And also before it became woke, like it did around 2015 and stuff, um, people just kind of denied, talk about instinct denial, they denied everything reasonable, rational, just for a bunch of uh, nonsense and mediocre stuff. You guys wanted to collectively do a uh, Gangnam Style and all that stuff up, up until you collectively bowed down to George Floyd and everything. But you wouldn't do that if uh, you found out a white girl got... um something done to her or anything like happens on a daily basis. Say this doesn't bother you, but when the media tells you to go freak out or something, that's when you go do something like a bunch of robots. I can't stand you. You contributed to nothing musically or anything culturally or subculturally to prevent this. You're the worst. You're the start of the worst, but it was gen X that ultimately, I mean, initially, I guess started planting the seeds with this stuff but the thing that they have at least going for them, even though they've done so much damage, like, for, for example, most of the music I like comes from Gen X. This, like, really intense, extreme metal, rebellious stuff that makes complete sense. The, the errors they might have in their worldview are completely trivial and makes every, like, everything about that attitude is completely reasonable. It is a true rebellion that you have not seen in the youth 
I'm not saying new bands don't come out and stuff. I even played one in one of my WoW videos. It was like, uh, they're actually, I think they call themselves on black metal, which means they're Christian black metal. Um, it's a really good band actually. And those guys probably been playing since they're like 16 from what I could tell. Cause they, they seem to be like 18 when they made the album. It's really good. If I'm not mistaken. It was, it was really, I know they're young. That's all I can say. And, but they, it's, it's very few exceptions. You don't, most of these guys, most of these Gen Z guys and stuff are the ones, uh, like I'll play a clip here from the, the George Floyd riots. Yeah. They're, they're the, we're, we're, we're on your side, bros type of guys. You know, that's, that's what we deal with. <laughs> It's, it's, it, cause look, what I was trying to say before is even if you have, uh, l l let's say that they all physically outdo you, which is a joke because <laughs> I have a fight, I have a, uh, I'll link this fight compilation, which it's a bunch of compilations from what I made from middle school to early high school. And if people don't remember or they don't know how things used to be, White guys were not cuckold. It wasn't weren't part of a cuckold caste system. I'm sorry, uh, and this is not me toot my horn. I had plenty of problems with white guys. That's all I knew. That's all I grew up around. Um, and uh, there, even to this day, there's plenty of bad ones. But I'm just saying, when it comes to fighting, it comes to no, 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 no. Actually, you know. From the, what I saw, it was blacks that fought the worst. You have emboldened people that hate your guts down to the bone. The most racist people coming from, I mean, where they come from says it all. You have an entire history of, there's no written language. Look, even if people are not stupid, I mean, even people are, are really stupid, you still... Don't see a compassionate side to them. It's always destruction. They're always warring over there and enslaving each other. So, I mean, what do you expect? You relaxed. You thought that you could still keep this going, even though everything is telling you and these rap videos and stuff that that's, that's antisocial. That destroys society. They don't care about you. They're taking your girls. And your girls are the biggest simps for sleeping with them or whatever they do. And just saying, if you are identifying with that in 2023, you are a simp beyond measure. You can't argue with that. And if you're black and you want to identify with it, you're just as much of a sheep basically because you're not yourself either. But if that's just who you are, then okay, fine. If you haven't noticed, I'm mixed, but I'm, I've always carried a tune of just being myself. That had nothing to do with wanting to imitate white people or anything. I don't identify with most white people like that. I definitely don't identify with black people. Just period. Because anybody, like you have a Thomas Sal type of dude or, you know, any of these type of people that are really set apart in behavior from the black community, because black to them means acting like a thug and perpetuating antisocial behavior and just doing nothing. And then also being a part of defending that didn't do enough and stuff. That's what you see on Twitter. I don't care if it's someone getting violated to the worst degree you can imagine by a black man or whatever it is. If, if they're black, they defend them every single time, every single time too. So I'll just wrap it up here. You're telling me, that the apocalypse and all that stuff is predicated on the West's failure to maintain civility and um, just a normal social order under the gospel or just being decent at normal. I mean, at minimum, right? But you have Africa in the perpetual state of ruin and they have an artificial population increase through the West giving trillions, I believe, dollars to them. And all it does is go to corruption and, like I say, artificially reproducing them through whatever handouts they do get. And I don't care to say all this because these are the same people that come over racist to the bone in any country they come to. 
Oh, they do. I mean, they don't, they don't hide it, but you find me offensive analyzing that you find, you find words doing that when I have never, and I would never do something like that ever. What they do and what they collectively support and defend. So why are they getting a royal treatment through handouts a royal treatment through having your women or whatever it is because you guys can't defend yourself and then on the more conservative Christian side like I look at they believe in turning another cheek so I would say guys it seems like the God is, um, let, me, let me try to say this the right way uh, I'll just say it like I want to basically it seems like he has them in favor that God you're talking about. Now remember, this is just biblically speaking, because if that's all applicable to us right now, dealing with any Tom, Dick and Harry giving us an issue, we must turn another cheek. Even if they're completely anti homogenous to us, because I believe in turn another cheek personally. There's people like I just had an issue with this guy recently. I'm not wanting to physically get into altercation with him, not because I'm afraid of him, and I'm not, and I've already had to do something not physical and not anything illegal, but I've had to strike back at him. And I don't want to go any further than that because I believe that he's not that bad of a person, but he needs to shut up about me. You see what I mean? I have a, it's just, that just happened recently. He just needs to quit. He doesn't need to talk to me or he doesn't, he doesn't need to talk about me because he doesn't know what he's talking about. But I believe he can learn. But with these people, they don't learn anything. These same people that got bailed out during the riots or during, like, um, I believe Obama and Trump. Trump had, like, the platinum, what was it called? The platinum something. And... They release prisoners or they and or they um, shorten sentences and stuff. It's primarily towards blacks. And they got out, most of them, and they killed other people. I mean, all the ones I saw, it was funny, like they killed people when they got out again. So, <clears throat> anyway, you guys want to keep riding the fence and you don't want anything to be offensive, but you don't care to see offensive as being completely subjective, bud. And that's the mind virus that you cannot see the forest for the trees on. But I don't even believe that. Like, that's the key thing I'm against in the Bible is forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Yes, they do. Because those same woke people that might play dumb to abstract thinking like I just said, aren't they the same ones that when you confront them more directly about said contradictions and stuff, they have the ability to sidestep you and pivot and gaslight you about whatever you're saying. So they're not that stupid. They're not. And, and I'll saying that I will keep this channel a bit more tame than my others. If you happen to look at them, because I don't hold anything back. And I don't think you should either, because this is a very serious situation for gaming community and everything that you hold dear in Western civilization. Thank you for listening.